I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today is Foundation Friday. And today's foundation, I'm very excited to show you because not only do I just have one, I have the entire line of foundation from Catrice Cosmetics. So thank you, Catrice Cosmetics, for sponsoring this video and sending me all of your beautiful foundations. So let me open up this heavy vault of foundation. Hold on. It, it, okay, it's very heavy, but I got this. Da, 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 da. Oh, how beautiful is this? So they used to only have four foundations, like literally only four colors. Yeah, that wasn't gonna work. So they decided to expand it and now they have 18 shades. So this is the Catrice Cosmetics HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. It's claiming to last 24 hours. We'll see about that. Uh, mattifying is supposed to be like a second skin effect. There's 1.1 fluid ounces, just like most foundations that I review. And the best part about this is the price. It's only $10.99. I feel like it's been a while since I've reviewed an affordable foundation and it's honestly my favorite foundation to review when something is affordable and also works well. So only $10.99, like that is great. I am the color 65, which is bronze beige, and there's one, two, three, four shades darker than my skin tone. This foundation is also paraben-free, cruelty-free, and vegan. So without further ado, let me show you exactly how I apply this foundation to my skin. Starting off on a fresh, clean face, I'm gonna grab my primer, keeping it in the affordable range. I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. This is going to blur the pores and also keep me very matte. Now that my skin is primed, I'm gonna be using a damp beauty blender and I'm grabbing the Catrice New HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. So using the dropper applicator, let me grab some foundation. And I'm going to apply a couple drops right onto my beauty blender. And let's get started. Oh yes, perfect match. So I'm already seeing that it has really good coverage. It feels very lightweight. And it's blending in very nicely. Hide those dark circles. Look at that. One side compared to without. Very nice. And so I'm gonna apply a couple more drops. Just do maybe two, three-ish. Side and just blend it into your skin. Wow, this looks so good. It has a very nice, natural, mattifying finish. That looks so good. So here's the finished look of just the foundation all on its own. So far, I am loving how it looks. It's the perfect match to my skin tone. It went on very matte. I'm not shiny at all. I'm getting great coverage. And I do like the little dropper applicator, so you just drop as much as you want, making it very blendable. So even though I am getting really good coverage, it still feels lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy or like caked on. Very natural finish that I could definitely use every day. So now let me go ahead and finish the rest of my face much better. So now as you can see with the finished look, it did a very good job of blending in with the rest of my makeup. I'm still looking very matte and I just love how well it matched my skin tone. So as you can see, I am not in my home studio. I'm actually at a studio here at Ipsy OS. So I'm not gonna keep everyone here for 24 hours, but I still wanna show you guys how well this foundation does throughout the day. So I'm gonna show you some footage of me wearing it all day long with timestamps so you can see how well this mattifying foundation does on my oily skin. All right, let's put this foundation to the test. I'm currently wearing the HD Liquid Coverage Catrice Cosmetics Foundation. I'm loving how it looks right now, but it is claiming to last a full 24 hours. I'm not gonna stay up for 24 hours because I do want to sleep tonight, but I will be checking in throughout the day. It is currently 2 p.m. exactly. See you in a couple hours. And I'm back, it is now 5.02. So I've had on this foundation for three hours. I ran some errands, I was outside in the sun, I got some food, 
and this is where our, my skin is right now. So I'm getting a little bit of shine here, but as I said, I have very oily skin, so it's kind of just giving me more of like a glow than like a, oh my God, why is your skin so shiny type of vibe? But my coverage is still great. The color is still the same, but then like oxidized to a weird color. Um, I'm really liking it thus far. Now at this point on a normal day, I would then grab my oil absorbing sheets and blot my skin to remove any oil so I can go back to looking matte again. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna just leave it alone. I'm gonna give it a couple more hours, come back, check in with you guys so you could see how the makeup will look untouched. Back again, and it is now 8 o'clock p.m. So at this point, I've had on this foundation for six hours and this is how beautifully amazing it still looks. Shine is still under control. I'm usually pretty greasy at this point, but it still looks very nice, very healthy, glowing. It doesn't feel dry. It's not cracking anywhere. It's not coming off. I still have my full coverage and I still feel pretty mattified for six hours of wear time. But I'm not done yet. I'm gonna try to wear this until midnight. Now we'll come back and we will blot and see the final results of this 24 hour mattifying foundation. I did it. It is now officially midnight. So I've had on this foundation for a total of 10 hours. Not a full 24 hour day, but 10 hours is like a normal human full day. I did get shiny where I always get shiny after a long day, but at this point I usually like to grab my oil absorbing sheets to blot my face and see how my foundation looks when the oil is removed. So I'm just going to press this on here to blot. Ooh, see how much better that looks already? Oil, no oil. That's just how oily my skin is. So if you don't have oily skin, foundation's gonna work even better for you. All right, so here is all the oil that came off of my skin. I know, I'm a greasy person. But let's look at the foundation now. Back to normal, good as new. It looks so good again. All I had to do was remove that oil and the foundation is still intact, still giving me full coverage, still looks great. So after a full 10 hour day of not blotting my skin at all, I'm very happy with my ending results of the foundation and I definitely think you should try it. So you might wanna enter my giveaway. Catrice Cosmetics is allowing me to choose one lucky winner to win not just one, but all 18 shades of the new Catrice Cosmetics HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. That's right, you could win this entire vault of foundation just like I have. And in order to enter, all you gotta do is give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know how you would react if you won all of this foundation. If you want a second entry, you also can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee and comment on my Catrice Cosmetics photo. All the giveaway details are below in the description box. So there you go. That is how well the foundation did on my skin all day long. As you could see, I do have very oily skin, but when I use my oil absorbing sheets, as long as I can remove the oil and my foundation is still intact, that is what I look for. So thank you Catrice Cosmetics for sponsoring this video. I absolutely love all your new shade ranges in the HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. If you guys wanna buy some for yourself, of course, I have a promo code for you. So if you use code LIFE in HD, you'll get 20% off your order. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, foundation reviews on Friday, and curly hair videos on Sunday. And let's make sure we take our relationship to the next level. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee so you can see how well this foundation does throughout the week. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.